Hi, this is laugh number 318 and it sold for 35 cents. And Archie says, poor jug, the worst is yet to come. Mouth to mouth resuscitation. And this is the back cover. And this is from September 1977. And it says published monthly by Close Up Inc. And on the inside cover, there's um, a hostess advertisement, hostess cupcakes and Twinkies. And the first story is Archie in Stringing Along. And Archie says, I still don't know why you wanted me to dress up to watch a baseball game on TV, Ron, because you're not going to watch the game, Archie. I have something much more entertaining in store for you to see. What? I'm taking you to the opera. The opera? No way, Ron. That's not my thing. Count me out. I don't want to see fat ladies holding spears and screeching at the top of their lungs. Archie Andrews, stop being uncouth. I want you to experience a bit of culture. But opera is just not my bag, Ronnie. Well, it's going to be, Archie. You're going and you're going to love it. You need an education and culture. Sit down and I'll be ready in a few minutes. Psst, Ronnie, come over here. I couldn't help but overhear a conversation with Archie. Oh, well, if he doesn't want to go to the opera, why force him? Why not? I mean, why waste an expensive ticket on a dummy like him? Because I want to experience some culture. I'd like to upgrade his mind. You're wasting your time. He's already been educated beyond his intelligence. The only polish he'll ever have is on his shoes. What a mean thing to say, Daddy. Archie has a very open mind. How right you are. I always knew he had a hole in his head. Well, I'm going to prove you wrong, Daddy. You'll see. He'll love the opera. Do I really have to go, Ron? You do, and you're going to love it. You're in for a real treat, Archie. You mean the opera's been called off and they're showing a Western instead? Stop being silly. I know you're only joking with me. I told you it was a waste. Do you still think so now, Daddy? Well, how about that? I owe you an apology. Archie is really enjoying this. He's been on the edge of his seat the whole time. And he's got a yo-yo. And then there's Jughead and Silence is Golden. What are you looking so sad about, Jug? Big Ethel said she wouldn't talk to me for 30 days. I don't see why that would make a girl hate her like you said. Today is her last day. And here's Jughead's gag bag. I thought you boys didn't like tea. Are you kidding? I went home and put on my t-shirt. I really made the scene to pour with the girls. Who said there were girls? Jughead, you said you were having herb tea with rosemary and jasmine. Archie bought a new jacket and went out to pick up a coat hanger. Why didn't he ask me? I have oodles of coat hangers. I saw his new jacket, but that was no coat hanger he picked up. Sure, she's a hat check girl. And here's a puzzle called Veronica's Line Puzzle. And there's an advertisement for 10 cents off any size icy. And the next story is Hot Dog in the Watchdog. Yawn, that nap made me hungry. I'm going to eat a burger, Reg. Would you keep an eye on Hot Dog for me? Sure thing, Jug. What's to watch? All that dumb mutt does is sleep all day. Maybe that's why he calls him a watchdog. He sure takes after his master. Oh boy, is this my lucky day. That good looking chick is sitting right down alongside of me. She must have gotten a good look at me. I'll just move in and stir up some conversation. No, wait, I have a better idea. I'll use the old human interest angle on her. All girls like dogs. Come on, you lazy mutt. Get up. It's time to play. Go fetch the ball, hot dog. Go ahead and fetch the ball, dummy. Move it, flea bag. You need the exercise. Now that's the way, dum dum. Good boy, hot dog. You figure it out for yourself. Get the ball again. I just did. Puff pant. Good boy, you're learning. Give it to me. Get the ball again, hot dog. Is he crazy? I said, go fetch the ball again. So you can throw it away again? Nuts to you. I said, move it, thump, pant, wheeze. I have to get this clown off my back. Uh-huh. Why are you doing, dummy? That's not a bone. Don't you go bearing that ball on me. I need you to get her attention. Do you dig? Now fetch. Yeesh, this guy is becoming a real pest. I'm going to have to put a stop 
to this nonsense. Snore. Gag, sputter, choke, sand all over my suntan oil. Arg! Is that your dog? It sure is. Pow, biff, sock, yow. Oh dear, you need attention. I'll get someone from first aid. Well, you're going to get your attention. Maybe now you'll let me rest. And here's an advertisement for Josie and the Pussycats and the Banana Boogie. That electronic genius Valerie turned me on to a far out way to make Alan M my boyfriend. This Lightem's elect electric lighted necklace should make him notice me instead of Josie at the Banana Boogie tonight. Alexandra, your necklace is super. Everybody is looking at it. Hey, Josie, why don't all the Pussycats wear one? That's a terrific idea. Then all of us can glow in the dark during the next number. That's not exactly what I had in mind. And here's a story, little Jinx Palmort, the worry wart, getting to the point. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I see you're still having trouble making up your mind as usual, Mort. Ha, they don't call you Mort the worry wart for nothing. I'm having trouble figuring out what to buy with my quarter, little Jinx. I know how to solve it. Flip the quarter, plink, plunk. Oh, it's gone. Well, that takes care of my problems out of my hands. Boy, you are something else. I never saw anyone have so much trouble making decisions. Sometimes it likes, it takes me so long. I weigh all the pros and cons back and forth until I'm more confused. I've got an idea to help you make up your mind real fast, making split de second decisions and all that stuff. Sports. How does that grab you? Great idea, but, but what more? What sport could, should I go in for? Oh, I need help. Baseball is a great one for quick decisions. Here comes the pitch. Zip, thump. That was a perfect pitch. Why didn't you hit it? I was so busy trying to figure out if it was good or not that it zipped by me. Let's try another sport. Gulp. Basketball is not the answer either. Football isn't for me. Boy, Mort, I give up. Next week, you were so right, little jinx, huh? I was. I found a sport that helps me with making up my mind. Finally, I knew sports was the answer. Mort, you bet. It helps me decide what to spend my allowance on and very quickly. Which, which sport does that this for you? Archery. And he's got soda in the center and then movies, candy, sundae, and pizza. And there's an advertisement for um, four iron-on transfers, the Fonz, Starsky and Hutch, King Kong, and Charlie's Angels. And here's Archie Club news and an order form to become a member of the Archie Club. And here is an advertisement um, to order Joke Book Annual Digest number one for 95 cents. And here's an Archie's three for dollar checklist. The next story is Betty and Veronica and Three's a Crowd. And you should have seen Big Ethel chasing after Jughead at the party. It was shameful. She'll do anything to make him pay attention to her. You know that? She was hanging on to him like some lovesick animal. She was disgraceful. And did you see the way she fixed her hair? She looked like she stuck her finger in a light socket. She had so much makeup on and she smelled just like she took a shower and perfume. I know, Veronica. I was standing next to her, remember? Ahem, is, I see the Backstabbers Club is in session again. What kind of remark was that supposed to be, Jughead? Oh, I just thought if you can't say anything nice about a person, you shouldn't say anything at all. You have a good point there. You should try it. I thought so. Let's get a soda, Betty. I'm with you. Jughead is right, Ronnie. We shouldn't be talking behind Big Ethel's back. Do you think she'd get mad if we talked in front of her? Don't look now, Ronnie, but I think we have some guy following us. Are you sure, Betty? He could be just going for a soda, too. We'll find out, Ronnie. Let's walk in another direction. Okay, Betty, let's go this way. Good idea. What's he doing? It's weird. He still seems to be following us. Are you sure? I'm positive, Ronnie. Take a look at yourself. He's almost walking in our footsteps. Well, there's only one thing to do in a situation like this. What's this? Oh, lifeguard. Good thinking, Ron. That fellow has been following us all over the beach. We need your help. Don't worry, girls. I'll run him off. Wait. Don't do that. Either join him or see if he's got a friend.
Thanks for watching.